Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It is 4 a.m. on the dot here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I got a couple of different things I'd like to talk about today. It looks, it's starting to look a lot like Bernie Sanders is going to take the uh, Democratic uh, nomination. It's not quite, it's not a done deal yet, but it's it's looking, he did quite well in, in Nevada. And I want to talk a little bit about him. There's I, I I get around town, my local area here in Connecticut, I get around quite a bit, and I've talked to a lot of different people. I've talked to a lot of Trump supporters in particular, and in this particular area, I, I want to share with you guys what I discovered, what I, what I came across, just the cross-section of the opinions that I heard. All right. When we discussed Bernie Sanders, what I discovered is, uh, overwhelmingly, it's white older voters that I talk to uh, from my age and up, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, There were a few in the 40s. The majority of these people get their information directly and strictly from Fox News. Um, What I discovered is, before, when Biden was looking to be the candidate, a lot of stuff Fox will center on him. And stuff started, they started putting uh, propaganda out that he was a, a grabby guy with the women. That he, I actually had one Trump supporter tell me that he molested a 12 year old girl. And I, I investigated that. It was completely false. Completely false. Um, and now that Bernie is looking to be the candidate, Fox News is honing in on Bernie. What I discovered is, uh, the funny thing is, all of these Trump supporters, I heard the same thing. And I started to wonder, where are these people getting this information? It didn't take me long to figure it out. Overwhelmingly, from these, these are, these were almost all white. One, a couple 40, and I'd say about 10 to 12 to 15 people, equal women and men, 60s, 70s. And... They all said, Bernie's a communist. He's going to make our country like Cuba and Venezuela. And they specifically, specifically said Cuba and Venezuela. Now, I know for a fact that these people don't pay much attention in general to world politics, to geography. And I was curious to know how, how, how they know so much about Venezuela all of a sudden or Cuba. And it started to come to light. Um, this is what's on. Fox News. Uh, Fox News is honing in on the, these exact people, older people that are scared that Bernie Sanders is going to turn the country into a communist country, take away everybody's guns, uh, take away everybody's rights, and it's going to be like Russia. That that is what they truly, truly believe. They are they're downright scared. Um, I had two or three of them tell me that if Bernie Sanders is elected. They are going to move to Canada. They will not live under Bernie Sanders' communist rule. It, it was such an exaggerated, incorrect view uh, of Bernie Sanders. I, I couldn't believe it. And they, they were completely serious. Um, it, it just amazes me uh, that, that Fox News is working so hard. And people, people on the other side will bring up CNN. And I know I'm biased here. But what I see on CNN is the truth. It is the truth. Do they do they rail against Trump? Yes, but it's true stories. Um, what I see on Fox is is scare tactics. It's downright. It's un, It's untrue. It's untrue. They're 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 making it truly sound as if Bernie Sanders is a communist, and they're blurring the lines between communism, socialism, democratic socialism. Um, so I said to these people, I said, what if I, I could show you, I, I could, I could prove to you, I could, I could show you what communism is, what socialism is, what democratic socialism is. And, no, I don't want to see it. They all, they all said this. I believe what I'm going to believe. And he's a communist and that's it. Um, to be honest, it, it, it was what you would call, I don't like using this word, but it was, it was willful ignorance. I don't like using the word ignorant unless it it applies to the situation, but it it clearly did. These people do not want, 
what they specifically told me is this is what they believe. You can show me any facts you want to, and I will not believe them. I believe this, I, and this is what I want to believe, this is what I'm going to believe, and that's how it is. You're wasting your time, you're wasting your breath. Bottom line, and totally serious. Um, they believe he's a communist, and it's, it's amazing. So I brought up the points of, like, Finland and um, the, the countries over there in Europe. A lot of these countries are, are, are using the same kind of thing, democratic socialism and healthcare. And I tried to explain to, to people that it's more in having... Uh, more equal health care and equal education for people. And it's still a democratic system. That we're not getting rid of the Constitution. We're not getting rid of any of our, our rights at all or anything like that. And it, it, they might as well have had their fingers in their ears. Uh, it, it was amazing. Um, so the bottom line is you're not gonna, you, you are not going to change. You know, these people are going to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, Donald Trump could, could literally shoot somebody, like he said. Like he said years ago, he could literally shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and these people will vote for him. Seriously, no, no exaggeration. That is what it is. Um, I think it's a waste of time uh, and any effort to, to try to change these people's mind, minds, really. Um, a couple of these people talked about how Bernie Sanders that it was all these young kids voting for Bernie Sanders, and they just want free school. I heard that from a lot of people, older people. They just want free school. They want a free ride. And I, I had a hard time keeping my composure during these conversations. Um, I explained to people. I, I explained to. I started. I I tried to have a calm debate with these people. Uh, and this was this was about five different conversations over the period of about five days with uh, different groups of people. And each conversation was almost exactly the same, different locations, different people, uh, different groups of people. And it, amazingly, each conversation was exactly the same. Um, they believe it's communism. And they specifically brought up Cuba and Venezuela, specifically, even though I do not believe these people, I, I, I would be willing to bet these people could not point out Cuba or Venezuela on a map to save their lives. But they seem to know an awful lot about, or they seem to think they know an awful lot about how Bernie Sanders in Cuba and Venezuela are very, are, are exactly alike. Um, which, you know, that's, that's, that's all Fox News doing. Um, so this, this, if Bernie's elected or to, uh, if he's going to become the nominee, uh, this is just going to get deeper. Uh, the, the, the bull. I can imagine Trump and his followers saying there's going to be lines for bread and toilet paper like in Russia. And, you know, there's going to be secret police. I, I, I guarantee, I guarantee the shit will just get deeper, you know, and that's what we'll have to deal with. It, it's basically a, a fight to, uh, to battle lies, lies, uh, propaganda. That's, that's basically what would be coming out of the Trump camp, just false propaganda um the thing with trump is you we don't you know he does so many horrible unpatriotic unconstitutional illegal things that nobody has to lie to to, to you know all oh, that's what I, that's my point with cnn uh they just show the truth and people are like oh my god cnn's lying you know and that's another it's they just I, I, I said this before and I'll say it again. Uh, um, conspiracy theories, conspiracy theorists, and specifically these, these Trump supporters remind me of flat earth believers. They do. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They, they remind me so much of the same, the same thing. Um, you could present all the proof. You could, you could put photographs, proof, everything right in front of these people and they will just, they won't believe it. Uh, it's, it's, it, it, it is a cult. It is a cult, like I've said it before, and it just the more I talk to them, the more I see this. It's just they, like I said, they just refuse, flat out refuse, to acknowledge, to look at, to believe anything other than what they see on Fox News and what Trump tells them. It, it's it's downright scary. It is. They, they it's like they've given up, uh, given up their reasoning, their power of, of reasoning. Or the, most people have a curiosity. To, you know, a, a natural curiosity to learn, 
to find out different opinions and make a judgment. These people, there is there is none of that. It, it's a done deal. Um, and I think it's fear. It's fear. Fear is the motivator here. Um, it's a, been a very uh, effective tactic, tactic that um, especially with this group of people, that they talk about traditions and, and you know, bringing back America because they fear that, you know, things are moving fast with the internet and everything and they're scared and, and Fox News and Trump and just use that and with this specific group of people to, to use this fear and this tactic to uh, manipulate them without a doubt. That's what it, that's, it's manipulation. Um, when I see family members being manipula manipulated this way, it infuriates me um, that that there's politicians out there affecting the the thought process of my family um, to this extent that they don't they refuse to even hear. And like I said, my fam my family is very similar. So uh, our, our our Trump supporters probably not to this extent, but close, and it, it bothers me um, that. They seem to be centering on the older population too, and the fear of any kind of fear of change. Um, so then, there's one more thing I want to talk about too. That was gun control. Uh, Bernie's Bernie's gun control. I was looking it up, and it's it's a bit it's a bit old, more than I would I would pick. I, I'm not necessarily in favor of gun control. Mass shootings are a huge problem. We need to do something about them. We need to do something about mental health. Uh, we need to do something to keep these guns out of the hands of mentally unstable people. That's first of all. I think the, the term assault weapon is too ambiguous for me. Um, it, it, a lot of people just a scary gun to them. Like I said, I, I was raised around guns. Uh, if they see a pistol grip, they see a folding stock, um, you know, the black finish, it's, a, it's an assault weapon. And I can understand, you know, uh, a folding stock, I don't agree with. Some of these things I don't agree with. I think maybe a 10-round limit on the magazine might be a little better. Uh, 15 rounds can do a lot of damage, but so can uh, uh, a 12-gauge Mossberg with, uh, double, loaded with double a buck. It could do a hell of a lot of damage to a group of people, too. If, if somebody wanted to, could do a hell of a lot of damage. Or, or even a 9mm pistol in the hands of somebody that, that could handle it. Um, these are, these are, they're all da very dangerous weapons. Um, that 15 round clip though, I, I don't know. I know, I know I'll catch a lot of flack for that, but um, I think a 10, maybe it's maybe a 10 round going down to a 10 round clip. I, I don't see a lot of purpose in banning AR-15s or the similar weapons because, uh, well, they, the, the cartridges, cartridges they shoot are, are small, small cartridge or smaller cartridges. They're, they're, not, they're not high powered cartridges. Um, and an another thing is these guns are already out there. There's, there's millions of these guns already out there. So you ban them for people to legally buy people that do want to protect their home people that want to target you and there's just going to be people that have there's going to be plenty out there for that people if they want to purchase them there's if there's millions out there already there's we're not going to get rid of them i don't, I don't see even if you have gun buybacks and like i said before the the, the, the what's the horse is out of the barn the cow's out of the barn on that one uh it's kind of late um I think something needs to be done about the proliferation of, of these mass shootings. It's, it's you know, it's like Nevada is, is terrifying what happened there. Um, but it's hard to get into somebody's mind. Um, you know, you, you could have somebody that has no criminal background. They just is pushed over the edge one day. It's, 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 a, it's a scary, uh, tough problem to tackle. It really is. And I don't know. If uh, if banning these assault we assault weapons, like I said, I just don't like that term uh, assault weapon. It's just it, it it describes the the look of a gun really more than the function of it. Um, to a lot of people, it's just a scary gun, and not knowing anything about what it fires or or why or anything, I think it's too ambiguous of a term assault weapon. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not crazy about the folding stock either because that, that's just made to hide the gun. And I can't see any really good uh, 
freedom loving reason to have a, a hidden gun, a folding stock, really. But all right, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys. Have a great uh, Tuesday.